Today I'm going to talk about downward dog. It's a very common pose in yoga and I get a lot of questions about it. A lot of times I get the question, are my heels supposed to touch the floor? The answer is no, they don't have to. They can, but they do not have to. If your hamstrings are tight and you're trying to force your heels to the floor, what's going to happen is your back is going to round quite a bit. And we want to try to avoid that. Try to get a neutral spine in downward dog. So it might be helpful to keep the heels a little bit up, bend the knees to relieve the stretch in the hamstrings, and then straighten your back a little bit more. When it comes to the arms and the hands, have your middle fingers pointing toward the front of the mat and all the knuckles rooted down. Try to avoid turning your fingers out unless there's some kind of specific shoulder injury that requires that. And try to avoid lifting the palms. Keep the index finger rooted down where the index finger meets the palm, press that into the floor. Avoid staying up on the fingers. That will strain the finger joints in time, bring the palms down. And then the inner elbow creases will spiral just a little bit forward. That'll prevent the shoulders from internally rotating. And really work on lifting up out of your shoulders, straightening the arms.